What's going on everybody out in YouTube land and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this episode we are unboxing, I wouldn't even know what you consider this, uh, I guess it's the last quarter box of Geek Fuel. Alright, so for you guys that don't know, Geek Fuel is a subscription service that gets delivered to your house once a quarter. So yeah, this is a little bit different than the monthly boxes. You only get this like once every three months or so which is always kind of like quite a surprise because I never really know exactly when this box is showing up. So I was pretty happy when I got home today and I saw it set in, in my game room. Um, so yeah, guys. So I want to say this box costs roughly around $60 a quarter shipped to your house. So yeah, one box is $60, bucks, um, which is quite expensive for a subscription box. But I do want to tell you guys, you usually get a lot of good quality items in this box. So I, for one, usually think this is well worth the $60 price point. But um, I guess let's go ahead and open up this quarter's Geek Fuel box and see what we got. And then we'll see how it stacks up with the uh, price. Alright, so let's go ahead and cut this tape real quick. And this box is very heavy. If I had to guess, I would say this box weighs somewhere between 10 and 15 pounds. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what's in here. Alright, so once you cut the tape and you pull the flaps up on the box here, the first thing is our spoiler sheet, which I like the fact that they kind of enclose that so you don't accidentally see what you got in this uh, Geek Fuel box. And this is actually the seventh volume of the EXP box. So, if you guys aren't aware of Geek Fuel, they were a monthly subscription service, a uh, pretty standard service, about 20 bucks a month or something like that. And about seven quarters ago or so, they decided to go to a, a quarterly box so they could give you higher quality items. Um, a lot of people didn't really like that, but I was pretty much all for it, to be honest with you, because um, instead of getting one box a month with a bunch of like trinkets in it or whatnot, I would much rather have. A box every quarter that has a lot of quality items so yeah this is the volume 7 of the uh, geek fuel exp and another thing i like about this box is they have reoccurring themes in each box um because they have like these canvas art prints that they put out um and if you started at the beginning you have every single one so as long as there's one in here that means that there are seven total and since i started this from the beginning i have all of them that they've released which is quite cool um, and if you guys want to see any of the other Geek Fuel unboxings, check back uh, through some of the videos on my channel. I've unboxed at least two of these on the channel, if I remember correctly. Alright, so after the spoiler card, we're going to fill around real quick and try to pick something out. I think I fill a t-shirt, so we'll go ahead and do that first. So this is a licensed Marvel shirt, and uh, you can only get this through Geek Fuel EXP. It's a black t-shirt, obviously, which I like black, so don't bother me. Show you guys the design first. Alright, so what do we got here? So this is a Wolverine shirt. Um, it's basically like a black and white design. And, I mean, though it's not my favorite shirt they've ever sent me, I do quite like it. Um... I like its simplicity, and I'm a big fan of Wolverine, so I definitely enjoy this. So definitely off to a good start here to get an exclusive uh, Marvel t-shirt. Alright, so next up, let's go ahead and pull this out. We have our pin. So this is a Edward Scissor's hand, Edward Scissor hands pin, which is really, really neat. So... We got Edward, obviously, but, um, so you guys can take a look at it there. And this is the ones that you could get from the back there. So, I mean, I've mentioned it a couple times before on these unboxings. I do collect enamel pins. So I'm always happy to get one of these from Geek Fuel. And for me, I just love the packaging that they have for their pins. Um, it's just really neat packaging. 
I kind of like their pins more back when they did their pins in-house, but I don't really have a problem with these pin pals. Um, I know some people don't like these as much. But yeah, still, it's it's a neat pin to get, and I mean, I like the Edward Scissorhands movie back in the early 90s, so definitely a cool item to get. Alright, so next up, we have... Um, some sort of $25 off your next Sideshow order. I don't really know what this is, but it's got like a code on there that I can use, so I'm not really going to show that. But I guess this is some kind of promotional item or whatnot. But the next thing that we have is our Steam game. And we have Time Recoil. It says that this is a $14 value. So usually you get one Steam game every uh, quarter in this box. I'm not the biggest fan of the Steam codes because I'm not really a computer gamer. But, I mean, I'm sure some people really like this. So yeah, we have our Time Recoil Steam game. Alright, so next up we have a book. Oh, this is really cool. It's a Star Wars Collecting a Galaxy the Art of Sideshow. So, I think this is, like, from the uh, toys. And it says that this is a Geek Fuel exclusive. Which usually means that this, book's is, this book is available uh, other places, but it just doesn't have this cover on it. Usually when you get an exclusive book, it's because it's got an exclusive cover. But I'm a big Star Wars fan. Um, so I definitely like this, and I'll just show you guys a uh, page in there real quick. So, that's kind of what you can expect in there. And we'll flip to one more. So yeah, this is actually really neat. Um, I'll definitely spend some time looking through this. You have Commander Cody there. So yeah, this is definitely where some of the weight came from, because as you can see, that's a pretty thick book there. But yeah, Star Wars Collecting a Galaxy, The Art of Sideshow. So definitely pretty neat. Alright, so what do we got? So next up we have a keychain, and I love this keychain. Check this out, it's a NES keychain. So that is really neat. For those of you that don't know, the NES is actually my favorite video game console of all time. So I am super happy to get anything NES related. This is a really neat little keychain here. So I am definitely happy to get this. Alright, so we got the NES keychain. And it's a heavy keychain too, it's not, it's not light. So I think we're down to the final item in the box. Uh, this box was a little bit light this month, to be honest with you. But this is a big item. So what do we have? We have a... Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I take it back. This this right here makes the box for me. This is a... A blanket. Like a fleece blanket. But it's modeled after the freaking power pad. You know, the NES power pad? That is so stinking cool. So this is an advanced snuggle technology. Um, it's a Geek uh, Fuel exclusive, so you can only get this through the uh, Geek Fuel box. I'm not going to actually open this, but I'm going to show you guys the uh, picture real quick again. And I mean, you can pretty much tell what it looks like. But yeah, it is a power blanket modeled after the NES power pad. So that is super neat. They know the way to my heart, man. Anything video game related, I am a sucker for. So yeah, that is really, really, really cool. So let's take a look to make sure that we got everything in the box, and we do. 
Usually these boxes can like transform into like a backdrop. And this looks like it's like a Star Wars backdrop in there. The Millennium Falcon going into like light speed or whatever you call it. But yeah, so that was really, really neat. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, spoiler card so we can see if there was any kind of other variants that you could get in this box. All right, so the first up, we had the uh, the uh, licensed exclusive Wolverine t-shirt. And then we had the Star Wars, the Art of the Sideshow collectible book, which was an exclusive as well. You got the Time Recoil Steam game. You have the Nintendo Game Boy Metal Keychain. You got the uh, Pen Pals um, exclusive enamel pen. And you got the uh, exclusive power blanket. So, yeah, I'll let you guys take a look at this. So those are the items that you can get in the box. It looks like everybody basically got the exact same thing, except you could get different pins. Um... I am happy with getting the uh, Edward pen because I probably wouldn't have liked to get one of the girls, to be honest with you, because I just like Edward scissor hands. Um, but yeah, overall, a really cool box. So let's go ahead and maybe put some pricing on this stuff and see how we made out. Um, so the NES style power pad blanket, I absolutely love this, and I know for a fact that you can give these $20 easily. So we'll go ahead and give this 20 bucks. The NES metal keychain is super neat. Um, I would easily pay $5 for this. So that's probably what I'll give it about five bucks. So we're up to about $25 now. The Edward scissor hand pen. Um, I could easily see spending $6 on something like this. So we'll give it $6 and that'll take us up to about $31. This um, Star Wars book is super thick. I mean, it really is. Um, so, I mean, honestly, I think you could probably give this $15 to $20 easily. Uh, just to play it safe, we'll keep on the low end and I'll say $15. So what, we were at $31 and $10 would be $41. So we're at $46 now with the book. So our time recoil game, it says that this is a $14 value. Let's go ahead and give it 10 because this game could go on sale. So what, we were at 46 I think. So 10 would take this up to $56. If my math is correct, I'm sorry if it's not. So we're at $56. We did get this promo code, but I'm not going to give this any value. So $56. And the last item that we got is this exclusive X-Men t-shirt. So I really don't have no problem giving this $15 since it's licensed and exclusive. Um, so what we were at 56, so 56 and five is 61, and another 10 is 71. So basically by my math, I'm giving this about $71 worth of value. And like I said, I know the box is about $60 shipped, but I'm going to take away $10 of that for shipping. I think we pay roughly around $50 for this box. So if you get $71 in value, that definitely is, makes it worth it. And what do I think about this box? I actually really liked it. Um, like I said, I'm a retro video gamer. Plus, I love Star Wars. So this really hit home for me. I just really like the items that I got. And I felt like we have got really good value. So guys, let me know down in the comments section what you thought of this box. Do you think that we got our value in this box? Do you think this was a bunch of crap that they just threw into a box and sent us? I would love to know your opinions on this. And guys, just let me know what you think. I just want to thank you so much for tuning into this episode of GBA. And if you haven't yet, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you could, just share the video around a little bit to people that you think might like this content. I would appreciate it greatly. So guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to go probably open up some more boxes, maybe play some of these games behind me. Try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, guys, see you later.